Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2016 in Bangkok, Thailand. I've got the great pleasure today of being in the studio with Peter McCauley, who is the president of the FTTH Council for Asia Pacific. Peter, thanks very much for being with us in the studio today. Great. It's wonderful to be here in, uh, in Asia Pacific. It's where fiber optic cable is happening and where broadband is happening in the world. Great. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about broadband, actually. And I wanted to find out what's the current uh, fixed broadband development status in Asia Pacific? It's incredibly uh, fast growing and uh, we have uh, countries and, uh, and, and areas in Asia Pacific with 100% homes passed. So we've, we've got an incredible success here of uh, fiber deployed and uh, we've gone now beyond fiber to the home and now we're doing fiber to the antenna. So now we're putting the fiber deeper and deeper into the network. So fiber deep is our, is our current status. <laughs> Now, given that uh, most developing countries in Asia Pacific adopt the mobile adopt mobile first, how do you see the future prospects of uh, fiber in the home in this region? It's it's incredibly good um, because all of these uh, wireless devices uh, are based upon wires, and those wires are fiber, <laughs> and so the testing that's being done now in Singapore, for example, by Singtel. Uh, with their 4.5G and 5G, some of the tests, early testing, shows that we need to have to the antenna, to these small cells, 10 gigabit. So it's no longer good enough to have a 50 uh, megabit per second. <laughs> so wireless backhaul, a microwave backhaul, is not going to work anymore. We need fiber to the antenna. So the fiber to the antenna is pushing the fiber deeper and deeper into the network. And Unfortunately, this is the most expensive part, deploying the fiber, doing the trenching, doing the HDD, the horizontal directional drilling. And now we're looking at use cases where we can have fiber to the home, fiber to the building, fiber to the antenna, all using the same fiber. So these are the, the key challenges, really, in, in, in promoting uh, fiber to the home construction in Asia Pacific? Yes, yeah, it's looking for that common use of how do we reduce the cost, to, cost of the fiber, the trenching. And we're here in Bangkok, it's very similar when you go into Cambodia, it's very similar when you go into Vietnam, into Hanoi. Um, the actual city centers are weighted down with, with uh, masses of uh, copper and fiber. And we know we can see which ones are the fiber because those are the ones they put extra spare loops, which just adds to the weight. We need to have some regulatory policy, we need to have a, a plan moving forward to get those underground to create a common utility corridor. And that utility corridor will be used for multiple broadband applications. So we see that as, as, a, as an enabling necessary factor to move forward. And cost aside, fiber to the antenna is, uh, has got a rosy future ahead of it? Very much so. That, you know, we all want to go faster and faster with our mobile device. And now we're being promised with 5G, we're going to all be going one gigabit, if we can imagine, a thousand megabit per second on a mobile device. Um, that for sure, for sure, will need fiber to the antenna. So fiber to the base station, fiber to the antenna is, is a must have. And it becomes so expensive if we try to put in parallel networks, a network to the antenna, a network to the home, a network to the business. We need to look for commonality. So some of that commonality is now possible with the technology such as ng 2 where we can do, do fiber to the home mixed with fiber to the antenna uh, with a dense wave division multiplexing. So those, those technologies have now converged. This is, a, this is a very, very exciting time. And this is happening quickly in Singapore and Hong Kong, in Japan uh, with NTT, but also in China and in Malaysia in Thailand. So we're seeing this moving very, very quickly. Also in places that just recently ha have got wireless for the first time in the world, and that's in Myanmar. This is the last country to be covered, but we've got fiber going into, uh, into India, Pakistan. Um, fiber deployment is, is moving very, very fast now. Yeah. Finally, I'd like to ask you, you're here at ITU Telecom World 2016, you're taking the time to come, come uh, here and, uh, and mix with uh, uh, all the, the key players here. I wanted to find out uh, what have been your impressions of it. 
It, this is very impressive. This is so well organized. Uh, this is a, a great, great, great conference, a great uh, uh, exhibit, a good chi chance to see how the service providers are making some of these decisions. What the regulators are doing in different regions is, is going to be key for how we move forward with, uh, with broadband and, and fiber to the antenna, fiber to the home. Uh, how that gets deployed and how we can do that cost effectively is uh, is what this conference is all about for us. This is uh, fantastic. Peter McCauley, thank you very much indeed. You're welcome.